Bonjour ni hao and welcome to the Game Voice channel. I'm Johnny and I am here with a Tokyo Kawaii Club mailer. Look at the little logo, it's so cute. All right, I have no idea how to wear ears without messing up my hair. I feel like I wear it like a hat, but then they're like too far back because they should be like this, right? But like, I don't like what it does to my hair, so like, I'll kind of wear them like a yarmulke. But I don't know if that like looks right. All right, we're just gonna go with this. <laughs> so back to the mailer and why you click this video in the first place. Tokyo Kawaii Club is a mailer service that where you get merchandise directly from Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Sea and all the in the Disney store in Japan. The mailer, I was grandfathered in at $53. I think it's up to like $57 now with free shipping, but free shipping is kind of interesting with items from Japan because it probably takes about four weeks for something to get here, which is fine because it spreads out the magic, it builds up my anticipation, and um, I don't mind waiting. Uh, good things come to those who wait, I guess. I got my scissors, so I am just gonna cut into this and see what we have here. Oh, I think I cut some of the plastic. Whoops. All right. So when I open my mailer, the first thing that I see is a bag. Tokyo Kawaii Club always sends their merch, their mailers in like shopping bags from Disneyland. And right now we're at the grand finale of the uh, happiest celebration which actually ends on March 25th so it ends this month and the towards the end of Pixar playtime um, and I think I've said it before but I love this whole artwork design and just game board I wish they actually made that as a real game because I would totally get that in play all right I'm gonna dig in here and open grab the first thing I see the first thing I see is a Toy Story secret clear file and I love stationery and I love files because I have a lot of receipts at work and I have a lot of like just different things that paperwork that I need to keep organized so I always love using these and they're so much cuter than like using like a regular like manila tabbed folder um, so out of all of these you can get Woody, Buzz, Slinky Dog, and a whole bunch of different people. Uh, obviously, I want Lotso. If I don't get Lotso, I'd be happy with Aliens. I'm really into like, maybe, no, Bo Peep, because I just heard a rumor online that Bo Peep might be the villain in the new Toy Story 4 movie. Like someone was looking at like the trailer and she came back looking all like weathered and uh, scarred and stuff. And I think the whole premise of Toy Story 4, uh, no spoilers here just based on what are on the trailers, is that it, it, you're supposed to reflect on the identity of what a toy is. So that's why in the promo you see like that spork and he's like I don't belong here and it's like what does it mean to be a toy like is it a toy just because someone a child believes in you and it's played with and I think from what I read online is that Bo Peep comes back because apparently Bo Peep was like a lamp I did not know that I watched Toy Story 1 recently and I was like oh she was a lamp and I think that she's now questioning her existence so I hope that she or I don't hope she's a villain, but I'm very interested to see what they do. But now that we're opening this folder, who do we get? Lotso? Please be a Lotso. Slinky Dog. Okay. Slinky Dog is cute. I'm not mad at Slinky Dog. At least I didn't get one of the ones that I really didn't want. So, like, I'm really happy with Slinky Dog. And he's looking all happy. And... They're him and him, his in different poses. Slinky Dog's always so loyal. I love that about Slinky Dog. He's always just like there to support Woody, trying to help himself, or trying to help his friends. He stretches, see how I put it in there, to like help his friends. So I am, I like this item. This is a good item. So thank you, Michael. Michael's the curator who puts all of these bags together. All right. 
that's it in this big bag. So now on to the two smaller bags. I'll start with my left hand. All right, in bag number two. Oh, I have seen other people get cups and I was like, Michael, where's my cup? But I finally got my own cup. Oh, this is really, <laughs> oh, Michael knows me too well. Thank you, Michael. This is a stitch cup and he's there and he's happy. And then he's over here and he's like lying down. This looks like the cuddle that I sleep with every night. And then when you open this, um, it's just a tumbler, tumbler with a reusable straw, but I love this cup. Oh, this is super cute, and it looks like an ice cream cone, and it says yum. There's all these little ice creams in a rainbow sorbet, and yum, yum, yum. I'm definitely going to use this cup, and I feel like this is a really quality item. You know what? I am going to use this for my new water glass at work and then I can use it to monitor my water intake and what I like about it too is that even if you because I don't always love drinking out of straws if you take out this the lip on this isn't so high and ribbed that like drinking it is uncomfortable so you can use it with or without the lid so I love this item this is a win all right there was one other item in the bag with the cup, and it is, oh, 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 oh. it's a little plush keychain, and it's a little baby Figaro keychain. Oh, he's a little bit browner than Figaro, but I still love him. And the very, very first item that I ever got from Toko QI Club was a, uh, Figaro plush that like when you pulled it, it's like tail little wagged. So I love having a second one. Oh, this is so cute. So now I can hang this off of like my backpack or just keep it with my other plushes. But like, I love him so much. Cause he, sh he looks like my cat Tati. And then when you do this, like it kind of looks like he's evil. He's like me, 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 me. I'm an evil cat. No, with his eyes closed, he's just sleepy. Oh, adorable. Okay. And there is still one bag left. All right. What is in this bag? I feel a bunch of different things. I'm going to grab the smallest item I feel. <gasps> Yay. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. This is really cool. This is a Lotso keychain. But it's not just any Lotso keychain. I'm going to take it off of this. Um, it's a carabiner Lotso keychain with a draw, like a retractable cord. So like you can keep your keys on your backpack or you can keep whatever you want, like an ID badge um, and then keep it there and then just retract it when you need to use it. Um, and Lotso saying like, not today. Nope, not today. Um, and I like this. This is very functional and I like this better than some other keychains just because um, of this. This feature, this like, retractable thing, is everything. This is a very, very good item and I'm very into it. This might be one of my favorite mailers that I've gotten from Michael. Um, I've been seeing that some of the other uh, mailers and other YouTube unboxings have been starting to get items that aren't necessarily from the Disney parks and might be from like the Japanese equivalent of a dollar store. So truthfully, when I started this today, I was a little bit anxious to see what I would get because um, if that was the direction of where some of these mailers were going, I might have unsubscribed. But after all of this already, like, there's no doubt in my mind that I'm going to keep subscribing for a little while. Everyone else um, is totally different and has their own uh, judgment and criteria for where value is for them. But then again, I also haven't gotten dollar store items ever yet. Crossing my fingers, I still have to finish this. So 
that would, I think, dramatically affect my decision. Um, oh, Michael sends a handwritten note that says, thanks again, Michael. And it's on this really cute Disney Zoom Zoom stationery with Chip and Dale and Minnie and Mickey. But what I loved most about what the stationery was connected to was lots of character stickers. These, it says, I believe, are from the Disney store. And it says that, I think they're for fabric because, or for like, they're heavy duty, heavy duty stickers because it looks like you can put them in backpacks or shoes or even your iPhone case. So you can use these to make like a little lotso on something. Um, they do not smell like strawberries, but I will definitely be putting them, these, on my iPhone case or um, something, but these are adorable and I absolutely love them. Uh, and then the last item in this Tokyo Mailer is some sort of food item. It has the Fab Five, or no, not Fab Five, it has, no, it has Pluto, Goofy, Daisy, Donald, Chip and Dale, Mickey and Minnie, yeah. So it's the Fab Five plus some. And it's, it's celebrating, obviously, the grand finale. And it's interesting because this side is all colored in with chalk. And then this side is like pencil. But there's a pull tab here. So let's, let's see what's inside of this. Ooh! Ooh, they're little... I love, how, I, I love how I think I can smell things through plastic. I can't. They're little um, individually wrapped candies, it looks like. I don't know what they are, but they say Disneyland Resort, and they have Minnie and Mickey on each of them. It looks like a puff, I think. Let's see. It's like a marshmallow. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. It's like a marshmallow, but inside there's like this like little like gelatiny honey thing. Mmm. Those are really good. They're not too sweet. They're really nice. Um, that's the end of my mailer. I am super happy with the six items that I got. I love the folder because I'm definitely going to use it at work. And I love Slinky Dog. I live for this um, retractable keychain with Lotso on it. And I love the mug. I love the Lotso stickers. I'm definitely going to be eating those candies. I'd love to hear what you think of this mailer and if you're still getting uh, Tokyo Kawaii Club um, because I love seeing what other people get and how uh, Michael's doing for them too. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Uh, if you had a great time, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, I would love for you to take a moment to hit subscribe so you'll be notified of future Tokyo Kawaii Club mailings as well as other Disney, pop culture, game, product reviews, all sorts of wonderful content with me, my husband, and my friends. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. Uh, I love getting to share all of these experiences with you and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Until next time, take care. Bye.